Hey guys, it's Joe Campanelli here with Jordan Salcedo for eHow.com. And today we're gonna to talk about great gifts to give for the holiday. Since we're both wine professionals, we really love to give wine as a perfect gift for the holiday. You know, and when I look at wine as a gift to give for the holidays, I think of it a little bit differently from if I'm at a wine store or looking at a wine list. Usually when I'm at a restaurant and I'm looking at a list, I think about, oh, what's cool and new? What haven't I tried? I'm going to take a risk and maybe find a really new great discovery. But when I'm giving a gift to someone, I really like to give them something that's really a lot more familiar, whether it's Bordeaux or Chianti or maybe a great Cabernet Sauvignon. Jordan and I were chatting before and she takes a different approach. She really likes to give a wine with a great story. And the story is something that you can tell someone and then when they're sharing it with their friends, they can, they can relay the story. A wine that has a great story is actually one that Jordan's working on called Bellis. Can you tell us a little bit about Bellis? Joe, sure, thanks so much. <laughs> um, you know, I, exactly like Joe was saying, I think you know, wine is a great way to be personal and, and so if somebody's just come back from vacation somewhere, you can give them a bottle of wine in, in, from that place. And one thing that, that Joe just mentioned is a label that's coming out this holiday season called Bellis. The first bottling is, uh, it's called Girasole and it's a super, super Tuscan. So just like Joe was mentioning, it's so, I think it, you know, when you're giving a gift, you want something that people have heard of or that's familiar in a little, in a little respect so that you're not, you're not going too far out of the ballpark. And Bellis is a super Tuscan made from the town of Montalcino on a little hillside and it is uh, made from Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot grapes and um, and it's from the 2007 vintage which was a, a gorgeous vintage in in Montalcino which is in Tuscany and um, the other thing that I, I'm really proud of with this wine is that uh, it actually um, gives back to a foundation the Tory Birch Foundation which empowers female entrepreneurs domestically through microfinance so you're sort of giving a gift that also gives to somebody else um, which is one thing that I, I thought was important or something that, that was inspiring when I, I was deciding on a wine to, um, to create. So. That's great. Yeah, and then when you open up that bottle with your friends and family, you know, wine is best when, when shared with people you care about. Totally. So you're giving, again, so it's a gift that keeps on giving and giving, and it's delicious. I've tried it before. I love, I love Bellas, absolutely. Um, what are some of your other favorite tips for giving holiday wines? Holiday wines, let's see, we were talking a little bit earlier about sparkling wines, and I think that a sparkling wine is always so versatile and there are so many great value options. So you can do a Prosecco or a Cava, and you can certainly do a Cremance, um, where it, you know, a Cremant is, is made in exactly the same way as Champagne, but from regions outside of Champagne. So you can have a Cremant de Jura, a Cremant de Bourgogne, a Cremant de um, Cremant Alsace, Cremant de Loire. So you can have these, these great, delicious sparkling wines that are made with the same amount of attention and perfection, sometimes even more so in Champagne that are a fraction of the price. So I think that's always a very festive option. That's a great point too. When you're buying wine to give as a holiday gift, think sparkling wine. There's nothing as festive as that great pop. And there are all sorts of really wonderful values at, at every different price point. You also think about some of the bigger names to give, like Chianti and Cabernet and Bordeaux. And the third, the third thing to think about is to give a wine with a story, and that story will live on as the wine is opened up with friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Joe Campanelli, Beverage Director at Amphora, and this is Jordan Salcedo, the Beverage Director at The Crown. Tune into eHow.com for more. Cheers. Cheers.